some beef jerky. Have a lot. Beef? Did you say beef? What do I look like a girl scout? I'm a man, son! And real men eat rhino! Eat the meat that makes the man. Rhino jerky. Made from 100% rhino meat. Now in hickory flame. Don't be a pussy! Tickets. Today we've got two general admission passes to Rosie Palm and the Fast Five. Playing this Friday night in the arena at La French Baguette Casino. The tenth caller is going to have to answer our trivia question of the day to win them. Let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Are you ready for your trivia question? Oh, oh my God! I am. Okay, here it is. A train leaves Central Station moving southeast at 75 miles per hour. Fifteen minutes later, a supersonic jet leaves a secret government airfield four miles to the north, heading northwest at 2,000 miles per hour. What is the length of the hypotenuse of the triangle formed by their differing trajectory? You've got five seconds. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, Time is running out. What? It is it the fix? <laughs> no. Wow, how can you be so stupid? My grandpa could have gotten that question and he's dead. We'll try again in the next hour. You're in Polly's playground now. He's in pain tonight.
Living legend Spike Pecker, lead singer of the band Restraining Order. Their album Naked Sexual Aggression was everywhere in the summer of 88, and now he's here in our studio. How you doing, Spike? I cough up my kidney this morning, and uh, <coughs> between my alimony and child support payments, I'm netting about $6.75 a month. So, okay, I guess. You are known for being this, like, hardcore party maniac. Give us a crazy story. On our tour of uh, Southeast Asia in 91, I met a guy who was gonna school me some blow, but he must have slipped me something else. Cause the next thing I know, I woke up in a bedroom surrounded by these scary Japanese businessmen. For I was a girl on account of the old glam thing. That all they didn't care. It took me eight months to escape and hop a ship back to the States. <laughs> what a ride. So would you say rocking was worth it? Well, my dating life hasn't been the same since losing my manhood to super syphilis. But yeah, there was some... Apparently, their building was bought by a large real estate conglomerate who plans on putting in another big chain coffee shop. A coffee shop! As if the three on that block weren't enough already. I'll never forget the time I spent there. Rocking out to the tunes on the radio while digging my stiletto into the scrotum of some grateful word. I'll tell you, I entered that place a girl. And you got one. Keep it in your hearts, brothers. All awesome. Okay, rockers, it's the time of day when we get the phones and take calls from you, our loyal listeners. Let's see what sick things are happening in your minds. Hey, you're on the night. What's happening? Yo, I just want to ask what happened to thrash metal. It used to be everywhere, and then losers and dorks made sure it disappeared. That's one viewpoint, but I think it's more complicated than that. I guess at its core, it's all about jobs. Thrash metal used to be a force to be reckoned with on the airwaves until a combination of oversaturation. But all this weekend, la señorita continua viaja de montaña de sangre de Cristo y que son los aspectos de Sanchez. Eat the bunny, eat the floss, Uncle Pancho, salty sauce, happy good time to me, just don't die. Casa de Sanchez. Mi casa es su casa. Future is now. 104.2 FM. Ah! 
rundown of the hippest things to do in Vegas. Ronnie's rules. Ronnie's rule number one, wine coolers. Sure, no one drinks them, but that's what makes them. Four two. So much cooler than you. <laughs>